All right, everyone, good morning. What a beautiful day for demolition, don't you think? <laughs> My name is Scott Wagner. I am the councilman of the first district at large, as well as mayor pro tem for the city of Kansas City. And I'm so pleased to see all of you today for what is, uh, to me, one of the next um, opportunities for us to celebrate what is going on in this area. Um, as I said, uh, I am going to be your MC today. And I just want to give you a couple brief comments before we go through the folks that will be speaking this, uh, this morning. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this particular location, the Royale Inn, is the site of what has been a, a various number of motels over the, the last 50 years. Unfortunately, it is in the way of progress uh, for this city. As we are contemplating, what we will do next as part of our Paseo Gateway plan, which will be uh, in effect a $12 million investment in this area that will re result in a safer and more pleasant uh, 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 gateway into the northeast area and down the Paseo Boulevard. Uh, but this uh, has not been a plan that's been done overnight. Uh, this actually was a plan that began in 2003 and was hoped for back then but never realized. Uh, today is the next stop on that realization. It became even more important though as a project for me personally, back in 2011, when there was a body found in this building, and between it and the crime that it had drew, it was time to do something about it. But we were fortunate to have some help. Uh, through the Choice Neighborhood Grant and our friends at the Housing Authority and in partnership with the city, through our friends at uh, KCU just across the way and the commitment that they've made into this area, it was decided that now was the time to make the Paseo Gateway a reality. And that reality will include a new intersection that is safe and open and will draw people to this area in a way that's never been done before. We have a number of speakers that will be speaking, so let me introduce uh, the first to speak to you, and that will be our Mayor Sly James. Mayor James. You know, first of all, let me say good morning to everybody and thank you all for being here. Uh, this is really a great day for the historic Northeast community. There's been some good things happening in this community over the past three years with the HUD programs and the Gateway and KCU. All good things that are going on that are changing the very face of this neighborhood. And I know you've all waited a long, long time for this day to come, and I know that uh, people like Councilman Wagner and Councilman Reed certainly have waited a long time for this day to come. And I want to thank them for their continued patience, but I want to thank everybody else that's here, particularly KCU and the residents of Northeast, for their continued investment in the neighborhood. Uh, for years, this building has been the center of illegal activity, vandalism, and all sorts of uh, nefarious deeds. Uh, that changes today. Uh, today's demolition is an important part of the Choice Implementation Grant and the revitalization of Paseo Gateway in the Northeast. This demolition will help to reduce crime and vandalism in an area while simultaneously making way for new development. So today is actually a very good reason to celebrate. The sun is out. Obviously, I'm responsible since the city manager is not here to take credit. But I want to thank everybody for their good work and for making sure that we are making progress in this area of town and for helping to bring this building down. Now, let me bring up to the stage or to the podium a uh, good friend and uh, City Councilman Jermaine Reed. So today is an exciting day and one that uh, we are all proud because as the Mayor and Councilman Wagner has already mentioned, as part of this $30 million uh, project through uh, HUD and the Choice Neighborhood Grant, we're leveraging a number of partnerships, at least 30 community partners who've come together to make this happen. Uh, just over a year, uh, a year, but certainly longer for many of the residents here in Northeast, uh, we have made a lot of great strides. Uh, these strides and revitalization of the Purcell Gateway District uh, will be one of the big, biggest visible improvements that we'll certainly see in this area. Now, I want to make sure we realize that not only, as the mayor said, and as we all can see, the sun is out, today being the first day of spring is a good example of how as spring brings into a new season this is going to be a new day as we are 
um, moving into welcoming this area of town, uh, this important gateway intersection down here at Independence, moving all the way up to 71st, uh, 71 Highway, I should mention, uh, will be a new welcoming gateway that will show the streetscape improvements uh, and so much more that will happen along this corridor. And so as all of the uh, neighbors in this area in which you'll hear from very shortly, um, we, we've waited a long time for this building to come down and as we're knocking down this building, uh, I think that it certainly will um, showcase in a marker of the important improvements of knocking down barriers in our community and realizing transformation and revitalization in our community. I do want to say one thing before I pass the mic back to Councilman Wagner is that as we continue to implement the Choice Neighborhood Grant and the Purcell uh, Transformation Plan, uh, uh, the first phase, I want to encourage all of us in our community to be reminded that we should certainly be people focused and not just planning and revitalization focus. Uh, there are so many families and people who uh, certainly in the Shoto courts that will be relocated, uh, but the families and all of the communities uh, and uh, community stakeholders in, are a real important part of this project. And so we certainly have to remember them. We are well on our way to creating, of course, what is a choice neighborhood, but then also a choice neighborhood for all of us who uh, will live, work and play for the years to come. And so I'm excited about uh, what today brings in this first day of spring and a new season here in the Northeast neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Reed. And I would also uh, like to recognize another one of our colleagues who is here, Councilman Scott Taylor from the 6th District at large, who reminded me that uh, we are doing demolitions on old uh, hotels and motels on 87th Street. So apparently we're just getting into this habit. Uh, no matter where we go. Um, now I want to talk a little bit about uh, the neighborhood that we are in. Uh, this is the Paseo West neighborhood where we have a, a mix of things, everything from industrial uh, all the way to residential. And I know this project has been an important one for them as well as our surrounding neighborhoods uh, like uh, Pendleton Heights, uh, Scarrett Renaissance uh, where uh, Leslie Kaplan is representing us here today. Uh, but this is an important aspect for our neighborhoods. And so without any further ado, let me introduce Evie Craig from the Paseo West neighborhood. Thank you, Scott. Good morning. Well, if it takes a village to raise a child, it takes safe and thriving neighborhoods to build safe and thriving great cities. Kansas City is a great city. And thanks to the effort of the mayor, the council, and I have to give a shout out to my own third district, uh, the city manager and his staff, and many, many community partners, those coming to and leaving the Paseo West neighborhood will begin to see that greatness. On behalf of the Paseo West Neighborhood Association, we are grateful, no, actually we're ecstatic, to know that our neighborhood is improved and transformed, not only by what is happening this morning, but what has happened already and what is yet to come as this Paseo Gateway Transformation Plan is fully implemented. Our neighborhood, as Scott mentioned, includes some of our community's m major businesses, A. Zayner, Mark One, and Telefero and Brown. But it also includes some of our most vulnerable citizens, homeless men, women, families, children, and youth. In fact, just a few steps from here, I'm very proud to say that with, in partnership with the Housing Authority, the city, and many, many other community partners, at the end of last year, we had 33 formerly homeless families now in brand new construction at Rose Hill Townhomes, and we couldn't be happier for them. But there's still a long ways to go. But this is a big step towards transforming their lives. And as Jermaine pointed out, it doesn't matter what we do with buildings if it doesn't improve the lives of people. So thank you all for investing, investing in a better future for everyone in Kansas City. Thank you. Thank you, Evie. And um, we had referenced a little bit earlier some of the other work that has gone on in this area, not the least of which is across the street. Because for those of you who may remember what was there, the Hotel Capri was just as much of an eyesore, just as much as a detriment on this community as the Royale has been. But sometimes it's good to have friends, and we've had many friends, especially from uh, the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences, because I've always got to say it that way, because if I just say KCU, it's just not enough, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. So, um, but nevertheless, 
uh, they stepped up when we could not, and as a result, uh, we already have some ground that is open for the redevelopment of uh, this entire interchange, and we are very thankful for that. Um, with that, I would like to bring up Elizabeth Alex from KCU, who will give us a few words. Elizabeth. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Mayor James, uh, City Council members. The President and CEO of Kansas City University, Dr. Mark Hahn, is at a meeting out of state. He's unable to be here this morning, so he asked me to say a few words on behalf of the university. KCU has been part of historic Northeast neighborhood for 101 years now. During that time, we have graduated nearly 11,000 physicians and scientists. Today, 900 of them still practice medicine here in the Kansas City area. Because of the support of our city this neighborhood and this neighborhood, we have grown to become the 10th largest medical school in the nation and the second leading producer of physicians for all of Missouri and Kansas. KCU is honored to be working with the city to revitalize the Paseo Gateway and this great neighborhood to its original grandeur. Our involvement in today began with the joint commission between Mayor James and Dr. Hahn with the belief that if KCU could acquire and demolish the Capri Motel and the city could acquire the Royale, we could begin the process of this great revitalization. KCU is also delighted to have been part of the city's efforts to obtain that HUD neighborhood Choice Neighborhood Grant that will invest $30 million into our Northeast neighborhood and we remain committed to the city's effort to a renewed prosperity for our neighborhood and our mission of improving the well-being of the communities we serve. So thank you, Mayor James and our city council and everyone here for your commitment to our historic Northeast neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. And, and I should stress um, that uh, and I see our friends from Brinshore here today. So Todd, thanks for being here. Um, it's important to note that without KCU's commitment, as well as the city's, I don't think we would have gotten the Choice Neighborhood Grant and we wouldn't be talking about all the redevelopment in this area. So, so once again, thank you uh, to KCU. Absolutely. Finally, uh, coming forward is Bobby Baker Hughes. Bobby is no stranger to those who have had any connection to the Northeast whatsoever, but she has been an important part of this discussion as she pushed forward and was successful in the development of the Independence Avenue Community Improvement District. It is that Community Improvement District that is further developing the commercial aspect of the Independence Avenue corridor, and it ends right here in this area. So um, we wanted her to be here today to give a reflection of what this means, this demolition today and this redevelopment means for the overall development of the commercial corridor along Independence Avenue. So Bobby, please. I think he just gave my speech. Uh, you can do better. Good morning, good morning, Mayor, good morning, Council people, good morning, stakeholders here in the Northeast. Thank you so very much for allowing this sun to rise today and us to be able to stand here and talk about this long awaited day that has finally arrived <clears throat> with lots of well wishers here waiting for this sign to drop and that is a new sign for our community when that sign falls we begin to see yet new revelations in historic northeast when it's <clears throat> when that sign falls it falls away from a building with many stories the good the bad and the ugly and I'd like to take a moment if I could ask Mayor James to step to the podium to make a small presentation of a token of our appreciation to the city oh, this is, off script, Mayor. Just so is it a kiss <laughs> oh you know you get hugs from me <laughs> Often I have seen where the key of, to the city has been given to many yeah. throughout our country. Today I'd like to give you the key to the Ramada Inn, which this <laughs> once was. <laughs> the key to the future of this corner. <laughs> Make sure you put this down now. Make sure this shows up on TV as giving me this key today so my wife doesn't find it and think something weird's been going on. 
<laughs> That's a good ending to a new beginning. Spring is translated into a new beginning. Today is the first day of spring. I believe it's an appropriate day for this celebration. Thank you very much. Thank you. Leave it to Bobby to have some flair. Um, <laughs> Uh, a couple final thank yous, though. Um, behind me stands a number of folks from our city departments. I see Mark McHenry, our director of P uh, Parks and Recreation over there. Uh, we would not be to this point without their assistance, their help, uh, as well as City Manager Troy Schulte, who couldn't join us this morning. So if you would join me in a round of applause for them and all their hard work. Finally, I would note that it is, uh, it is spring break uh, in the North Kansas City School District. My son is here uh, this morning, Patrick. I gave him the choice of going to his grandmother's or to come see a demolition. Amazingly, he chose the demolition. Uh, so I want to recognize my son for being here as well. There you go. Even the bow. Um, but we're here for a demolition, so why don't we get on with that? We're going to start with bringing down the Royale Inn sign. So if you all would join me in a countdown from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. All right. 